G'day, Stephen Carey from OffTheGridNoz.com again. Yeah, how many times have you heard that? Only about 10,000 times. Everyone's sick of it? Get over it. Hey, it's about 4,000 degrees outside. All right, it might be 4,000 less, whatever it takes to get it down to about 42. It's 42 degrees and it's hot out there. Quick video on air conditioning. We, as I've said a million times, as I focus up there on the grill, we live on three kilowatt, guys. Yes, we aren't. The 5, 10 kilowatt power moguls that you might think. We have 3 kilowatt, 1,000 amp hour batteries, batteries. What can you do with that sort of power? Well, you can run a really big size of that cooler, 11 kilowatt. In here, and we actually have a, a visitor today, a fellow off gridder. Say hello. Hello. Right, this is Wendy. She lives across the road, well, you know, a kilometer away or so. She's here hiding under the air conditioner because what are you, Wendy? <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, so when you don't want to know about the heat, she's over here. We're watching YouTube, listen to a bit of the tune. Now I'll show you how hot it is. Check that out. A picture of a nearly unconscious cat. It had to come inside. There, yeah, that's it. Flat cat. So that's how hot it is, right? Now what can you do on three kilowatt? What we've got here is, as he runs around, I'm going to take out the shed and do some proof there. We have a thermostatically controlled 11 kilowatt unit running off a 12 volt pump to supply water to the unit. The actual main unit runs on 240 volt. Most of that's only use about 500 watts. So even if you've got the most minor unit, minor size unit, uh, sorry, uh, medium size unit, you will still only use about 500 watts. On a sunny day, our 1000 amp hour battery bank, and I'm going outside and show you proof. Oh, here's Kerry. Hi guys. Oh, you're in the flare there, Kerry Ann. Probably a good spot. Kerry's working flat out. Actually, it's can o'clock. <laughs> it, it, it is nearly five o'clock. Get off our case. <laughs> Say, see you later, Wendy. I'm going. See you later. Right, Wendy's just going to sit there and suffer in 20 degree heat. <laughs> now, I'm going to take you outside very quickly. We have this unit running, and as you can see, we have a computer running there, my computer running there, big LED screen running over there. Um, what else? I think Wendy just plugged her laptop in, her iPad. iPad, that's right. We've, We've got, got fridges. Oh, there's two fridges, all of that. That's all running as I scoot outside. And now watch, now if anyone's paying attention, who's this bloke? Who's this bloke in the mirror? Ah, that's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> Kerry shocked. I showed myself in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get out here. I've got to keep this quick. So yes, we have air conditioning. We have that little 12 volt pump there as I've shown a couple of times. That, supp that supplies water up to the unit from the tank, alright? So that unit, that little unit there, it doesn't take any power. Now as I come around, this is just to prove to you how's, the, how's how bright it is. My God! I'm going to have a shot, have a look at the thermostat, see what it's on. I've got the thermostat sitting out here. What's that say? Ooh. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That's getting right up close to the 60 degree mark. Ooh, not good. Anyway, as we go inside my disgustingly untidy workshop, that same unit is running off this solar system. Now I'll get you to focus on that for a second. The, oh, that's not good. Hope you can see that. The batteries are on float. It's still pulling, letting 32 amps go through, but that unit inside doesn't flatten that second-hand 1,000 amp hour battery bank. Battery bank that's only worth mm, 1,800 bucks, two grand. It's not a five grand battery bank. It's not a seven grand battery bank. It's been running for a, nearly a year and a half now. It's fine, but yes, that says it all if you can focus on it. I'm hoping it's just glare on my screen. But those batteries are on float. Inverter's just pumping along nicely. So what can you do? As far as air conditioning goes, right, if you're in a humid climate, probably a VAPS, you're going to go scoff, scoff, scoff. Well, there's a lot of people live in very dry climates. A lot of people haven't got the money for a 10 kilowatt system. A lot of people can't afford to buy very expensive split systems or heat pumps. But what can you do? Off a second-hand battery bank, of a three kilowatt system, you can run that little sucker up there. 
that evap cooler is pumping away that place inside is 20 degrees guys i can't emphasize that enough it is so freaking hot out here i mean it's ballistically hot i can't even begin to describe it i think it's set about 60 degrees in the sun plants are doing well we got them all under shade cloth now gave them a good drink this morning but yeah what can you do with three kilowatts do you sit there in 42 degree heat and do you suffer or and i know some people haven't got three kilowatts even you can seriously do this on two kilowatts i can tell you right now we have the advantage that kerry can actually still go and put a dehydrator on or run a mixer to make some juice she grinds up a lot of herbs and stuff and yeah we use electric grinders for that that all will run with that evap on on three kilowatt so i believe without stretching anyone's imagination that you could run an evap cooler like that one up there on two kilowatt and I reckon you could probably reduce the storage down while the sun's out. That storage really only comes into play once the sun goes down. And just for the record, that unit at 500 watt draw, along with our TVs and computers and things, will run through to 11 o'clock at night and it'll maybe drop to 90%. So it doesn't give the batteries a hammering. So I would believe that if you only want daytime relief even, 500 amp hours, I reckon you'd be pretty right. So I'm going to leave it at that. Cheers and Stephen Carey from Fried Fried Alive off the grid nice.com. We're not fried alive really. It is freaking hot. My god. Every time one of those 42 degree days come along, I just about die. And I actually like the sun, but never mind. Cheers from us. Subscribe and like if you want. This is only a quick video. We'll catch you next time. We're out. Bye.